It is very deceiving from the street when you first approach it. But then when you step inside, it really opens up into this hugely voluminous space. My name is Joseph Clement. I'm a documentary filmmaker doing a documentary on Jim Stewart and the Integral House. Jim was a concert level violinist and played in the Hamilton Philharmonic. He wanted a house that used curves because curves express calculus. He simplified calculus in a way that nobody had ever simplified calculus before. And that textbook that he wrote went on to be the most successful calculus textbook written in history. So this is Jim's office, so this is where he did all of his writing. This is his last manuscript that he completed, so, which is all still here. Everything in the house is exactly the way it was when Jim died. After seeing photographs of the house under construction and then walking into the house for the very first time, I remember being kind of overwhelmed by a sense of, of sheer scale of the space. The idea was to come in and start shooting the house and start discovering what it was going to tell us, but then it turned into the story about Jim and the house being the secondary character. We really realized what a seminal individual he was and what a kind of a groundbreaking character he was in particular in Canadian culture. The house was designed as a concert hall so the quality of sound is a huge part of it. I remember the very first time when I walked into the house and walking through the blue glass stair, I saw a different reflection off of the light and the different shades of blue fascinated me. So I wrote a piece based on that. And they designed the house around a form and then brought in an acoustician to see what was required to make that work and the acoustician came into the house and said it was absolutely perfect the way it was designed. It wasn't until we found out that Jim was uh, uh, dying of cancer that we, um, we really started to dig more into Jim's life. An incredibly prolific uh, mathematician, an incredibly accomplished musician, and also be deeply involved in the LGBT community and really in a broad spectrum of ways. It really touched a lot of people's lives and changed the country in a huge way.